Hey guys, what's up? Rajat here from VFX World. Welcome back to another very exciting Element 3D tutorial and this is class 14. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Right now we are in After Effects version CC 2020 and those who guys are new in this channel don't forget to subscribe, like, comment and share and also press the bell notification button. So normally we are starting with taking a new composition but in this tutorial I am starting with taking from this video footage and we will track this video footage as in 3D track. So just drag and drop here so it will create a new composition. So go to this animation panel and then just click this track camera. So I will get back to you when the 3D camera track will be done. So the 3D track is completely done. Now we have to create our ground plane here so I'm just selecting a rough kind of thing so just click here right click set ground plane to the origin and then right click create a null and the camera okay so this is done and now we don't need this back footage plate so just turn this off or you can delete it completely it's up to you then just press s on your keyboard by pressing shift and increase the scale value now you can play you can see the null object is exactly stick on the ground so ground is successfully created so right now we have to go to the element 3d part so right click new solid and name it like element and 3d and then just press okay okay fine and now right click uh, video copilot and element now inside of the scene setup we have to import our card model which I already downloaded and installed here so I go to this element 3d model collection this model collection is completely made for my purpose because I custom created this model pack you will not find this model collection pack inside of your element 3d so if you really want you just have to import this from any other OBJ car model or anything which you want to blast this okay so now I'm taking this my car model so just click here so it will import it in here and after that from the alignment should be for the bottom okay so the first step is completely done now the second step and the most important content of this tutorial is we have to isolate this wheel from the car model okay so now first of all we have to change the environment just turn this environment back on go to those presets environment video copilot basic 2k and I'm selecting this one because this looks almost same like my environment okay fine now you have to isolate this wheels from him so for this just select this one right click you have to rename this for the each and every time this is like car without wheel this is my first one car without wheel and then just press ok so now what I'll do I'll just right click duplicate all and it will go to the group 2 okay fine and the name will be car with wheel so it means that this car only we have wheels on this group so just press ok now turn this off so this one is our first group okay so we don't need this wheel for this comp okay so just click here open this now you have to go inside of the detail parameters and then just control and click on the wheel here and it will automatically go to this wheel L and then just turn this off so now what happened on this model we don't have any wheels here okay now we have to go back to here select this one and go to again the wheel L it will automatically come just turn this on so that it will be visible here and now you will find control click here it will go to this wheel L and now to isolate the rest of the part just press alt and click on the wheel L so it means the rest of the part will be isolate these are the cool tips and tricks for element 3d guys I hope you really love our videos then don't forget to like comment share and also again subscribe okay so the basic first two steps are done now we have to create our third step which is a floor so just go to create go to this plane and increase the plane to something like that it should be a little more bigger because we will add some much reflections and lighting setups and all now if you want to create a matte shadow you can use as in texture go to this physical use can match shadow but in this case I am using a little bit of reflections and glossiness and all so just double click here so it will create some this kind of reflective flow and now to create some reflection here, go to here default and go to this mirror surface so it means it will reflect here but I don't want a complete reflected model here so what I'll do I'll decrease the reflection value so just you have to go to this chrome material and from this glossiness panel and just decreasing the glossiness to something like that now guys everything is done now we have to remove the plane model from group 1 to just drag and drop out and then just make it to group 3 so now what happened our plane model is right now in group 3 and after that we have to press the ok button so now guys as you can see everything is here and now you have to increase our size of this model so just go to the group 1 and particle look you have to increase the particle look to something like that it's completely up to you how much you want to increase the size and now you have to rotate this little bit to match our animations so I'm just rotating it to something like that and when you play this 
its feel like this and I have to move it to in Z axis so just go to this particle replicator and you have to move it to in Z axis and someone in X axis as well little bit in Z axis front and little bit of X axis now you have to rotate it back in zero because I don't want to rotate it from there I just want to rotate in from here so rotate it something like that it's much good enough okay so it's completely up to you have to just play with all the settings and all so now the animations are look something real and some some realistic kind of animations with a good camera animation okay so the next step is we have to copy all the settings from group one so just go to the copy paste of group and then just like the copy and go to the group two click here and paste it so now what happened all the settings are same on the group two and same process for the group three as well just press the paste button so now all the settings are for group three as well see everything is going good now I have to go to scene setup again for only one tweak because I don't want the reflection to be see in ground in everywhere so just click in the chrome go down and you have to click this matte shadow and matte reflection so what happened it means that reflections and the refractions and all the shadows will be visible but it will not show the exact the plane so just click ok button so now what happened the reflections are visible but not the plane this is a very good stuff of element 3d newly updated parts okay so now we have to add our background here so right click new solid name it pg press ok now go down it and i have to apply the ramp effects from fx panel so just go to press here ramp and drag and drop here so it will come something like that and then just press the swap colors and I'll change the colors and positions from white should be here and the black one should be something here and the change the white value press the dropper and I'm selecting this colors from here and just press ok and the black one let's make it to a little dark kind of loose something like that and it looks so realistic okay so the very very first steps are done and no need to turn on this null object just turn this off and now for the very first time i'll just play this for you guys and it looks super realistic now the main composition part which is the most important like the blast and all how you can remove the wheels from the car okay so the click the element 3d layer and we have to go to the group 2 because we have our separated car wheel on the group 2 so just make the keyframe to something here in this frame I want the blast happening okay so now what happened go to this particle replicator select this position XYZ and also the rotation also and just press U here to see the keyframes here and now I have to go to the eight keyframes so just one two three four five six seven eight eight one is very good and then we have to remove the position of this wheel so now what happened it's feel like it's removing here so just make the Z axis to something here and move it to the top a little bit in like Y axis and rotate it in Z axis something like that so now it's feel like it's detaching from the car in fact we have to change the car position also because when the blast will happening the car and the wheel also affected by the blast so just click the group one same particle position XYZ and the rotations value and press U1 and we'll find the new keyframes here go again to the 8th frame and here you have to rotate in, in Z axis something like that and move it in Y axis to see it will go above the ground something like that and now it's feel really good so now when you play this it's feel like it boom blast now the blast is very like very sharp so what we will do select all the keyframes and simply press f9 because it will be a smoother stop just press here and boom nice guys so i hope you really understand what i'm trying to show by using this and uh, so let's start with adding some blast effects and all to add some blast effects i'm using from action essential pack which is also provided by elements 3d like video pilot so I already have some alerts let's import all the action essential parts for the blast elements okay so I have successfully imported the blast and this is the blast which I'm talking about and this is this is a very good one and let's import it in my comp so just close this too and select the explosion 06 and drag into drop into the composition so now it's in composition so let's make it to the 3d layer and then just press P here to get some positions value and now we have to select our car wheel position exactly same position where the wheel is should be detaching just click the element 3d go to effects controls and now just go to this utilities where you can find these many options which is called create a 3d null generate and these many options here which is available so just select the 2d positions and you have to find this many options so just go front here and just I want to click the blast should be happening on this area 
so just until here this is fine just select this one and click on this area so now this will be our 3d position and then just press generate so now it will create a null object press the p position and this position will be the same position where my blast should be happen just select the position control c select this one and control v so now when you play this you can exactly see the blast is exactly stick on the flow. Okay, so the blast position is everything is set up properly. Now you have to rotate it a little bit. So just make the position properly here. Press S to scale it up a little more, something like this. Positioning it, something like that. And rotate on this Y axis. And this much is good enough. Okay, so now what happened? This will blast boom. Wow, nice. Okay, so then my blast will be started from this frame, maybe. So just press U here. So, okay, so the blast will be started from this keyframe. If you want to change the blast position, select all the keyframes and drag it to here. So what happened? The blast will be starting from this keyframe. Yes, this is very simple. Okay, so now you have to change the position of the blast on this keyframe as well. And now when you play this, select and play, boom, see. The blast will see wow nice okay guys so now i have successfully applied the fire blast effect which is in this frame and it looks so realistic and now we have to freeze everything here to see almost realistic look so now if you can see in this area this car is going to be freeze so the blast will also should be freeze so now what i'll do i'll select the explosion press u button so now in this frame the blast should be freeze okay but if you notice the blast is very less here so what i'll do i'll just increase the uh, time duration so just time and I'm just making like time stretch. So now it's on nine seconds. So I'm just stretch it to like four seconds and just press OK. And yes, this is fine. Okay, so now what I'll do, just press here and it's very fast and it looks so realistic. Just select and control shift D to split those layers and then just right click time and then just simply freeze frame. So now what happened? In this frame, it will animate, but after that, it will stop something like that. Yes, guys, everything is going good. Now, I want to create some cool particles should be blast when it will happen. The particle was like detached from the car. So for that, you have to go to element 3D, scene setup. And secondly, we have to add another group to the particles one. So now select this two up and select none and just select another group or you can go to the starter pack physical and inside here you can find this floor fracture just select this one and it will come something like that and just select its sides to be a little more smaller and if you notice this is already pre-fractured see it's in wireframe mode it's in already in pre-fractured so just press shaded mode and I just want to change the textures should be a little more like goldish and also should be a little glossed so just something like that and a little bit of reflection down and yep this is fine and the color should be a little darker something like that and then just press ok and change the group from 1 to 4 and then just press ok so now it's in group 4 so the basic purpose is we have to make the position of the group 1 2 3 and 4 in same space just press copy and go to the copy here and then just simply press paste so now see all the positions are exactly in same space now we have to make some blast will happening on this frame so now what i'll do no need to on this group one two three because i want only the group four here so inside of group four group particle look the particle should be a little bigger something like that it's good enough and go to this multi object and then just turn this on back so now what happened in multi object when it's a displacement it feel like it's going boom see it's really amazing okay so first of all what i have to do i have to rotate the particles rotations from here just rotate the particles and see its axis and like something like that and move the positions of inside of the car so that it will when it will blast it should be blast from the car wheel part okay so it will coming from here and yeah this is fine okay good enough now first of all you have to decrease the size from one to zero something like that so it means there is nothing here and just select the size here and now go to the last of this frame and again you have to increase the size of here from like let's take around this much is fine yeah one let's make it to one and now we have to displace it okay now to displace this all so just click this displacement here so just go to the first frame here and you just have to turn on this displace displace randomize and also there's noise evolutions noise amount everything which you want to use is completely up to you then select all the rotations and all now go to the last of this keyframe and now here i just want to click the displacement value a little bit bigger something like that and Y axis rotation in can you can and then displacement in randomize something a little bit here and then the scatter multi to see the in XYZ position it's fine and now noise amount to be a little more bigger 
something like that is good one and now I want to remove and now I just want to decrease the size a little, little bit of this and it's fine and now if you want to decrease the down of displacement it's completely up to you and now when you press and play boom so blast is happening is really nice okay guys so now I have successfully applied our cinema scope and I added a little bit of camera depth of field and some color corrections and all so guys whenever you will successfully done all the stuffs here and multiple stuffs if you want to use you can do it's completely up to you the output should be look like this so guys I hope you really enjoyed this amazing comp process of element 3d class 14 and if you really love our this series then don't forget to like comments and share and also subscribe to VFX world and press the bell notification button to get all the notification updated in Instantly. And guys, if you still not follow us on our social media handles like Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter, all links are in the description box below. So guys, see you in my next video. Till then, have fun, stay healthy, don't go outside, and keep watching, keep rocking. VFX.